Hello, welcome everybody to my balloon cupboard. It is time for another episode of Live from the Balloon Cupboard, and here we are back in, in uh, surrounded by balloons. Uh, my name is Rob, I am the bow tie balloon guy, and I've got my bow tie on today. It is uh, a Snoopy. Can you see Mr. Snoopy there just about? There we go. And also, we've got uh, my balloon cupboard full of balloons. We've still got some of the balloons left from my last episode. We've got the, the frog here and the fox and the tree and there's our lovely nurse there look. and over here I've got my dinosaur, my Tyrannosaurus Rex and we've got uh, a little doggy just behind my head and then can you see who's up here? Yep that is Spider-Man and then we've got the owl over here and I've still got my flowers and my rainbow so it's all very exciting. So now before we, we kick off I just want to say thank you to everybody who watched my last episode I was amazed by how many people tuned in. We had people from all over the UK, which is amazing. We had people from uh, America. Wow, that, that was quite scary. People from uh, Canada and someone in Poland and people in Spain. And I, I think that was everywhere. So uh, we had lots and lots of people. It was amazing. So anyway, I'm going to try and get my, my, uh, my comments machine up so we can see what comments we're going to get today. So if you'd like to send me a comment, and say hello then you're quite welcome to let's see what we can get here uh, on the comments shall we let's see oh yeah i can see some people are watching already how amazing now then boys and girls i'm just gonna uh, switch that off there that's fantastic now then um before we do anything uh I'll, let's just tell you what's going on uh, oh we've got hello already hello lily how are you today uh so then anyway Today we've got so much to do, it's all about transport and cars and vehicles and planes and helicopters and all sorts of things, all right? So we are going to make lots of lots of transport type balloons, all right? We've got the competition, the last episode, we, um, we had our, I, I set you a competition to draw me a picture of something that I can make and I've got my winner, so we will look at that later on. Uh, uh, what else have we got? So we've got lots of announcements, we've got a few birthdays to do, but I think we should kick off by making a balloon, something something transport based. Uh, uh, plus, uh, let's think what we can make. Now I've already planned this, so let me um, let me get my first balloon out. It's a very small balloon. There we go, I need two balloons for this. There we go, let me get my other balloon out. Oh, couldn't find it there, there we go. That's a very dark balloon and a brown balloon. I'm going to blow up this balloon here. Yeah, there we go. Fantastic. Here we go then. Now then, you can see how that's a very long, small, thin one, isn't it? Let's see what we can make and see if you can guess what this is going to be. <coughs> there is uh, a little straight bit there. We're going to do some small bubbles. I think it's going to be a while before anybody guesses. You have to think of what type of transport this could be. It could be a plane at the moment, couldn't it? Does that look like a plane? Oops, you did a bit wrong there. Another little bubble there. Any guesses what we've got? A train, we've got someone saying train. Ooh, could be a train. Not a train. I'm going to make a pop with this bit of balloon here. Are you ready for a pop? Oh, that was a very quiet pop, wasn't it? Get rid of that. I reckon we might start the other guess now. What do you think? Put that down there. One more balloon. Oh, I think someone's guessed it. This is a very dark brown balloon. 
it looks black because it's actually dark brown. Another pop coming up. That could be a sword, couldn't it? A very small sword. And there we have got our little pirate ship. Look at that. Nice little pirate ship there, look. There we go. And uh, I think what we can do with our pirate ship, if we just place him there for a second, does it stay there? Fabulous. I've got down here. We can make some seed, because you can't have a pirate ship on the land, can you? So let's put some sea down, there we go. That's a better colour for sea, isn't it? And there we have our lovely little pirate ship. Fantastic. Of course, we could do something a bit more modern, can't we? Not that modern, but we could do something a bit more modern, ship-wise. Uh, and I've made this one already. Let's see if you know what this is. How about that for a ship? There we go. I've made a little version of the Titanic. Look at that. I don't think this one will sink though. This one definitely won't sink. So there you go. So that's that's our little Titanic there. Fantastic. Now then, we've got some people saying hello there. Hello. Uh, oh, hello Roy. Hello Nikki. Hello, hello Kim. Oh, lots of people out there. Uh, so that's good. I'm going to put our Titanic there. That, and the little ship's going to go over there. Brilliant. So there we go. That's got us off to a good start. Who guessed that then? Did you all guess boat? I think you did in the end, didn't you? Well done. Now then. I've got some birthdays. I was inundated with birthdays. So let's do our birthdays here. I've got more ready to go. Here we go then. So I had lots of messages. So here we are. Sebastian. He is six years old. Hi Sebastian. Happy birthday. Uh, Isla. Isla is eight. Now, uh, that's, a, oh, that's a good age to be. Eight years old. Yeah, we've got Noah. Now I know Noah is having a, a, a very small party with just, just maybe his brothers or sisters there. Uh, Noah's into ninjas, and I know that because he, his mum told me he's very much into, into, into Ninjago, that's right, isn't it? Uh, we've got Oberon, who's three tomorrow, I think that's three tomorrow, well, he's in South London. Hi, Oberon. Uh, we've got Max, who is six, wow, that's cool, Max is six there. Even more, we've got Cass, who is ten, hi Cass. We've got Dexter, who is four, fantastic, my favourite name, Dexter, hi Dexter. Elsie, who is six, we've got Amelie, who is twelve. Wow, and then Nancy, who is six years old. So amazing. I hope you all have a fantastic birthday. I know it's, a, it's probably not doing what you wanted to do, but you can still have a really good time. So have a good birthday, you kids. So well done. Now then, one of those uh, people who uh, I mentioned, Oberon, I think it was Oberon, was it? Let me have a look. Oberon is three. Let me have a look here. Yes, Oberon, who's in South London, he, on the last episode, uh, afterwards, he contacted his neighbour, uh, Uncle Frank. Hello, Uncle Frank. And Uncle Frank sent me a message to see if I could make something. Now, I'm going to set the scene here because uh, we're going to, it's quite a big thing this, all right? So I, I still need my water. And uh, before I show you what I've made that Oberon requested, I've got to show you this little thing here. And we've got my C. And this is a little dinghy. There we go. Look at that little dinghy. That she's got. It's got a little man in it who's sunbathing there. Uh, there we go. And uh, he's in his little inflatable dinghy. It's got a little motor on the back. Now the thing is, our little man here, he forgot to put sun cream on. <coughs> Very important to put sun cream on. And uh, he's a little bit, he's going to get a little bit tanned, isn't he? So, so if he's out in the middle of the sea and maybe if he's run out of petrol and he's getting a bit sunburnt, who do you call? You have to call the rescuers, don't you? Now we need the rescuers. Where are we going to find some rescuers? Uh, I wonder wonder where it's going. Oh, yeah, I know. Here we go. That's better. Fantastic. I can call the rescuers now. Now then, this was actually... Uh, I had a message from somebody. Let's see who that was. Uh, there we go. Message from Emma. Emma's dad, I think, phone, uh, messaged me and asked if I could make headphones. She drew me a picture as well. These are the headphones I've made. Let's see that. There you go. So I'm gonna see if I can call the rescuers. Uh, Romeo, Oscar, Bravo. Romeo, Oscar, Bravo. Uh, uh, 74. Are you there? Come in, R R Romeo, Oscar, Bravo. 74. Let's see if we can get some help from this little man in his dinghy. Do you think we can? Do, 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 do. Look at that. We have got ourselves a 
rescue helicopter. Wow. Now Oberon asked if I could make a rescue helicopter. And here we have it. Fantastic, look at that. There we go, it's got a little man hanging down here, look, ready to rescue our man in his dinghy. There we go, we've got our, our rotors up the top here, look, see that? We've got, oh, it's a bit wobbly, isn't it? There we go. We've got the winch there, which is holding up the man, you can see that there, look. Look at that, isn't that cool? There you go, so there, Obron, you asked me to make a rescue helicopter, and this is exactly like the ones we have down here near the sea. Exactly like this one. Look at that. So there we go. I think our little man in the dinghy is going to be safe now. So well done. So thank you Emma for deciding or choosing for me to make a, uh, a pair of headphones. And uh, thank you Obron for choosing for me to make a rescue helicopter. Awesome work. Well done. Now then, I'm going to let our, our rescue helicopter fly away because otherwise you won't be able to see me. Up you go. Brilliant. We'll probably see it again later on. There you go. And you can scooch off now. Excellent stuff, excellent stuff. Now then, boys and girls. Uh, oh yes, I think it's nearly time we do the challenge, the balloon challenge. Now, if you can think of something... Uh, oh! Nancy, Nancy, uh, can I say happy birthday to Nancy? Yes, I can, six. I think I did in my birthday messages, but Nancy, happy birthday, Nancy. Fantastic stuff. Okay, then. Uh, so if you can think of something for me to make, I've got a few things uh, on my list which people mentioned last week asking me uh, if I could make something. Let's see what, what things we could have there. So we had Hayden, who asked if I could make a duck. That's cool. What have we got there? Oh, we've got uh, oh, a pogo stick. That's cool. I've never made a pogo stick before. I wonder if we can. I'll have to have a think about that. Uh, we had Tess. Hi Tess. You asked if I could make a unicorn. You have to watch next week for that one. Uh, we've got Troy. He loves playing with balloons. Anyhow, uh, any way he likes. So I'm not sure if he makes much out of them. But uh, Tess, uh, uh, Troy, I mean, he likes making things, all sorts out of balloons. We've got Eva. She asked if I could make a monkey. So that's quite cool. Uh, so should we make one of those? What do you think? A tank? We've got a tank would be cool. Can I make a... What else have we got there? I think we're going to have to have a go at making... Oh, I don't know. Should, should we make... How about a race car? Would a race car be a good thing to make? Should we go for... Let's go for a race car. Uh, now then, what colour race car should we go for? Should we go for a nice, bright, shiny red one? That would be good. Uh, one race car coming back. Coming up. Uh, nice long blue in there for a race car. And I need two small bubbles first. There we go. Let's see if we've got any more. Zachary asked if I could make a dragon. I have to watch next week for that. I'm going to tell you more about next week. Good. That's a good, good thing to make there, Zachary. Is this looking like a race car yet? I don't think so. Definitely still not a race car. I had a practice making this earlier, I'll be honest. Still not a race car. We've got some more hellos coming in there. Hi JJ Bear. Got uh, uh mention your picture later on that you sent me. Still not looking like a race car, is it? We need some wheels. Uh let's have a look here for some wheels. I'm gonna do something very weird with this balloon. I'm going to stick my finger right down the middle of the balloon here, look. Look at that, and then I'm going to grab inside there, take my finger out. And hopefully, I'll get it about the right size. 
I can make this one little bubble here into two wheels. There we go, a pair of wheels, and these wheels can go here. There's our front wheels. We need some back wheels now. I'm going to make the back wheels a bit bigger, and I've actually already made them. There we go. Look at that, bigger, bigger back wheels. Are you getting used to the squeaks yet? I think that's getting there, isn't it? How's oh, that for a race car? Look at that. There we go. Brilliant. Now, I did say I made another race car earlier, and I've got it over here. Let me just go over here and see if I can get this. If I can put this this red race car on here as well. Hopefully we can see if we can put them together like that. Look. Get them level because what I'm hoping is we can have a bit of a race. And what you've got to do is you've got to decide which of these cars is going to be the fastest. Is it going to be the red car or the yellow car? What do you think? Have a guess, have a guess. Let's see if we can get some sound effects up here. We can either have the red car or the yellow car. Shall we have a go? Let's see, let's see uh, if we can get this going. Hey, really? Let's see if we can get some music going for this. Here we go. Come on in, come on in, go in. On your marks. Get set. Oh, 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 they're getting me to go. And go. Oh, 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 they're off, and they're off, and they're off. They're going down the, uh, the racetrack there. Look, who's going to get to the line at the bottom first? Who's going to get to the line? The red one's ahead, the red one's ahead. Oh, oh the red one's ahead. The yellow one's coming forward. Look at that, the red one. No, is it the red one or the yellow one? Who's it going to be? Uh, 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 not sure who's going to be. I think it's the yellow. You think, what do you think? What do you think? And it's, it's yellow. Who guessed yellow? Who guessed? Who was it? Oh, very good. Well, well done if you guessed yellow. Uh, should, we, should we have another go? We, reverse up, guys. Reverse up. That's it. Reverse up. Reverse up. That's it. Brilliant. Well done. Okay. Let's see. Let's see if we can do the best out of two. Let's see the music again. Here we go then. Let's let's try. Get this going again. Let's see. Are you ready? Are you ready? On your marks. Get set. Go. And they're off, and they're off. Here we go, here we go. The red one's grouping ahead, red one's grouping ahead. And, and the, the, the yellow one's ahead. No, oh no, is the yellow one going to win again? The yellow one's going to win again. Oh no, 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 no. Oh, the red one's going forward. Oh no, the, the yellow one, the yellow one. Which one's it going to be? It's the red one! <gasps> wow, that makes it a draw. I think that's one one race each they won. They've won a, a game which I think we should leave it like that. So fantastic if you guessed red that time. Well done. There we go. I'm gonna put that back on there. Brilliant stuff there. Oh, well done there. That's good. Now then, let me stop my music there. Look. Stop my race car noises. Okay then. Now then, I've got some announcements to do. I had lots of announcements coming. So let's see uh, where our announcements are. So here we go. Carson, Nesper and Mikhail. Hello. I know you're watching because you just said hello. Brilliant. Uh, Troy. Oh, yeah, we said Troy. He plays with our balloons. Yeah. yeah. Oh, and JJ. JJ Bear. Yeah. Uh, I know you sent me a message this morning with a picture. And while we're talking of pictures and the competition, we, there was actually a competition we did last week. And the competition was to see if you could draw a picture for me to make. OK. Something that I can make. Now, I had so many entries. We had Oliver who sent me a Stormtrooper picture, that was brilliant. Uh, Oscar sent me a tennis racket picture. Uh, Jamie, he drew a minion. Amelia sent me two elephants, a big yeah. elephant and a baby elephant. So that nature uh, each other, that was really cool. Uh, we've got- Now uh, connected uh, to oh, Galaxy A50. That's my, uh, my Alexa just going off there. 
be quiet, Alexa. There you go. Now then, uh, Elsie sent me a shark, a mermaid, a bunny, and a unicorn. Elsie, watch next week. One of those I'm going to make. Uh, we had a uh, Cam. He drew me a park, a play park. That was brilliant. Uh, we had Ro, little Ro there, who drew me a lovely baby Yoda. And it was a brilliant drawing. Ro, uh, she's 33 and a half. So well done, Ro. That was a lovely drawing of a baby Yoda you drew there. Uh, they're, they're up here near Birmingham, so that's cool. And then Darcy drew me a picture of a bike. And it was Darcy's bike. Oh, yes. And then there was JJ Bear who drew me a picture of a bike as well. But I chose Darcy's bike. OK, I'm got, I've got the picture of Darcy's bike here that I printed out. And here we go. Can you see, if I hold it up there, there is Darcy's bike. Can you see that? It's got... Uh, uh, you got the um, the wheels there, look. There we go. And uh, we've got the saddle there, look, and the pedals. And then you've got the, the handlebars there, look. Isn't that a cool bike? And I thought I'd have a go at making that bike. So let's see if we can get this bike out. So here we have the bike I've made to be as close to Darcy's bike as you can possibly get. Look at that. So there we go, we've got the handlebars up there. Let's see, we've got the, the pedals, we've got the wheels, we've got the saddle. So that is Darcy's bike. So well done, Darcy. I've made it as close to your picture as I possibly could. So that's brilliant. So well done there. Well done. That's a fantastic work there. She's good, isn't she? Brilliant work, Darcy. I'm going to put Darcy's bike. Uh, I'm going to put Darcy's bike over here. I'm going to put that in my window later on. So that's good. I've been putting all the balloons in my windows. Uh, the Gruffalo went into my window last week, or, or on Thursday, and everybody's been walking past looking at him, which has been brilliant. Uh, let me do a, another balloon that I have made recently. Put that down there. And this is something which I know all the boys might like, because it is a... What's that? The digger. I've made this digger, look. It's got a shovel here. It's got the scoop at the front, like that. It's got six wheels. And it's actually got glass where the cabin is, look at that. So I made that digger the other day. Well, yesterday I made it, actually. That's a cool digger there. Stay there, digger. That's cool. Now then, as we're on the subject of uh, a um, of transport, there is another type of transport I wanted to talk to you about. And it's not a type of transport you'd think about, really. And this was an idea by a young man called Oliver. Hello, Oliver. I know you're watching at home with Mum. And uh, Oliver asked me if I could make a camel. Now, is a camel transport? The thing is, if you live in the desert, in somewhere like Egypt or in the Sahara Desert in North Africa, you probably would call a camel a type of transport because you can ride on the back of them and they carry all of your, your food across the desert. And uh, they're called the ship of the desert as well. So, uh, you know, it's quite cool. So this here is a camel I have made after Oliver asked if I could make a camel. There you go. Look at that. He's got on his back one hump. Do you know what kind of kind of camel that makes him if he's got one hump? Anybody guess? What do you think? I'll tell you. He's got one hump. That means he's a dromedary. Uh, if he's got two humps, he'd be a, ba a, a, a Bactrian camel. But he's a one humped camel, so he's a dromedary. And they are very good at walking across deserts for long distances. And... Uh, they can go without water for a long time. So that's brilliant. Look at that. There's a nice camel there. I'm going to put him over there. Stay there, camel. He's not going to stand up now. Fabulous. Stay there, Mr. Camel. Brilliant. Let me turn that around because we've got the last few things to do now. So I hope you've all enjoyed the balloon so far. Now, my next show is going to be on Thursday. OK, uh, and it's all going to be themed around magical animals all right so magical or mythological animals 
Uh, so that could be things like Loch Ness Monster, or it could be things like unicorns, or it could be things like mermaids. So what I want you to do is I want you to draw some pictures of something for me to make. All right. So I want you to get your pens and paper out, draw some nice pictures of some magical animals for you to make for me. Or for you to draw, so, so draw some pictures, for, and then I'll make them for you. That's what I'm going to do. Get it the right way around. Okay, so I'm going to make some nice magical animals, and uh, you give me some ideas, all right? There's all sorts of magical animals out there, so that'd be cool. I learned about a new one yesterday called a manticore. Yes, that's quite a scary one. You have to look it up. So, uh, so send your pictures through. The email address is in the description of this, uh, this video, uh, or you can send them to the bowtie balloon guy. Facebook page or any other way you can think of. Get it. Oh, I've got some got some um, uh, some comments already there. A griffin would be cool, wouldn't it? A hippogriff. Some good ideas. That'd be brilliant. So there you go. So also in in the comments here, I put a link to uh, my email address, which is the way if you'd like to make a donation to keep the show going. Uh, RobbieAIBM at gmail.com. You can send any donations to that to help me keep the show going because I'm going to try and keep this going as long as I can while the kids are off school. All right? So send me those pictures through. And uh, if you've got any birthdays as well, send the birthdays through and, uh, and any announcements. And uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to have a look through the um, comments here. And if you've got any birthdays or announcements, I'll say hello to you. And so, so there you go. So I do hope you've enjoyed today's show. I'm going to get Darcy's bike out again. I think I just saw Darcy say thank you very much, so that's cool. And so Darcy, that is amazing. Send me your pictures of your magical animals and I will see you again on Thursday at 3 o'clock. And uh, that would be amazing. So Thursday, 3 o'clock, in the bloom room, in your living room, wherever you are, and I'll see you then. So bye-bye, everybody. Bye.